we have here is an STL file with a speedboat loaded into Cura and Cura is what's called slicing software so 3D models probably all seen or familiar with it between sort of visualizations and stuff, video games, design but uh, the 3D printer itself can't just you know pop into existence stuff it needs some way of figuring out how it's going to actually print out so you can see here it gives you a mode, a view mode, where it actually shows you the different layers that it's going to slice it off into. So each one of these red lines, you can kind of see there, each one of these is a layer. And then I can scroll down through this, and this will show you the actual path that the 3D printer is going to take. So it's kind of like G-code, if anyone's familiar with CNC machines. So here on our right, we have each actual layer and then it shows different things so blue is movement without printing yellow is infill red is actual print of our model and that's what's going to come out so once we're happy with all our settings like uh, the amount of fill that's going to be in it the speed we want to print it at and the uh, layer thickness and shell thickness and so on and so forth we can go and send it to an SD card sent there, take our SD card here and add it to the 3D printer. Now a lot of people might wonder why we don't just interface the two things but that's most because we have a laser operating here and a 3D printer operating here and if both things were run at the same time and one of them went wrong and the whole thing fell apart then we lose two jobs as opposed to one. So our next step is to actually just find a job within it. We're ready to go. Then fine tune our settings. So, depending on the job, you might want to change different things in different ways. But a lot of this, you don't really need to worry about once it's set up correctly in the uh, Cure software. Here's our finished 3D print. Got a nice, nice raft on the nice raft on the boat to help it out. So just a matter of removing supports now.